Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it's day number 13 here on Tomb Raider season. I'm diving straight into it because it is currently 3.16, so in one hour's time I need to have a spliff rolled. Let's go ahead and go on for our adverbs. Get ourselves a little dueling ring as well so we can get the hell on out of there after. Today, we have some quests to do. We're going to finish off two quests that we already started. Those being Garden of Tranquility and Wanted. We should be able to get both of those done relatively quickly. We're towards the end of both of them. And after that, moving on to another quest. Temple of the Eye. If we get that done, then who knows? We'll just have to see. I don't really know how long it takes. I haven't looked it up at all. I just know it's on the list of things to do. We do have a currently, we do currently have a blue dragon's task, which I'm still sort of undecided whether I want to keep. We could do it on babies to make it go quicker, but less profit. The problem with blue dragons is they're so far from a bank and you don't really want to not bank the stuff. But it takes so long to get back to the spot where you kill them. But like if you don't, like there's so much profit from the dragon bones and the, the dehyde that you want to make troops from the bank, it's just, I, don't, I feel like it's a task that usually would be great, but when you only have an hour, it just might not be what you're looking for. So it may end up getting cancelled, that one, making use of our first Slayer points. Alright, fingers crossed for nice healthy patches all around. Yeah, we literally just have a cutscene to watch for Garden of Tranquility. Though I'll say it now, do not expect me to actually go back and figure out how much time we spent on Garden of Tranquility. It's simply not happening. We've done it over like three days in little bits here and there in those days whilst doing other things that we would have been doing anyway. So it's going to be impossible for me to track that one really. If you don't like that, tough shit. Because that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Sorry, I gotta stop. I don't want to get DMCA'd for that incredibly accurate rendition of whatever the fuck that song is. We could do a topping up on some Ronar seeds. So I'll probably go GE before going over to do Garden of Tranquility. We'll reset the rocks, get wealth, and then. Although well, that being said, we could just finish at the Catherby Bank. It's basically like right next to the patch. Maybe I shouldn't have done this Urban, thinking about it. We're about to get 5k farming XP. I would have had slightly better chances of a higher yield, maybe, if I'd have waited till after I did this cutscene, which wouldn't have taken long at all. I think that was actually a bit of a blunder, but nothing major, just slight inefficiency I noticed as I was. Getting to the end of this farm run. All six patches grew though, completely fine. We got 44 Renars for the trouble. Very nice haul. Can go ahead and pop another energy charge on that before we put it away. And let's get ourselves over to the grandest of the exchanges. Oh, you have to love it when things just immediately sell. Right, what's the damage? 26,480. I'm not buying more than 12 at that price. If they even buy. We might have to put them up in a bit, but I'll leave them in like that for a bit. Okay, we want a stamina dose. We want an energy or two. We want a ring of carrots. We want a chronicle. If we have charges in it, we do. We might want combat gear as well, actually. I'm not sure. I'll check after. Okay, time for a cutscene. To be fair, I would be exactly like rolled in this situation. I'd be just as pissed. So what we learn there is Queen Elamaria is Dommy Mummy. And that's about it. 41 farming. Let's go. 
Okay, we're gonna get wanted up and just check if we need combat gear for the current step. This is the hunt still, so I don't think we do, but we will want the com orb. So let's just go to Castle Wars real quick. I may as well just get my combat gear as well, to be fair. There's no point not doing, is there? Right, going to the Champion's Guild now. Is that... No, do we have to be inside? Well, if you're getting sick of me, then you better curl over and die, dickhead. Oh, we're still hunting? I thought we were done. I flew down too many of these to do. This may well be the last one. Yeah, me too. Stop running away. A 56? We're still going. Okay, Lombridge Castle. Wow, this is long. Yeah, I will go restock and heal up and whatever. Let me out of this fucking chat window. Do I actually need to wear this? Oh, works if it's in your invent. I never knew. Not take me to the mines, dickhead. That solo Stella guy is even wearing red. Oh, we're still going. Two or three more? Is he gonna let me teleport out of this? I feel like I've bugged. Okay, that was a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure what happened there at the end of that cutscene. I don't remember previously having the option to teleport during the cutscenes. We don't have to kill it. Okay, this is actually the last one, I think. I'm trying to bug out of it like I did last time, but... Do I actually have to kill him? Because this happens. Oh, he kills them all, doesn't he? These cutscenes are so weird. Oh, he got smoked. Right, fuck Savant, hopefully we never have to speak to him again. That took the piss. I was expecting it to be take like two minutes at the start of the day, and it took about... 15, almost 20. So, yeah, I'll have to add that one up, obviously. With yesterday's timings, it's turned out to be probably about a half hour quest, so quite a long one. There we go, 5,000 Slayer XP, and we can now go and get ourselves the Proselyte as well. We're up to 43 Slayer, just five levels to go till we hit our goal. I am just going to get myself the upgraded armor. Need to grab some cash from the bank. And then we are going to make our way to Temple of the Eye, wherever the hell that is. East of the Alcarid Gate. Buy some armor. Wait, why can he only some? Oh, we haven't done slug menace yet. What am I doing? We can't do that yet. I'm stupid. Okay, East of the Alcarid Gate is... North Alcarid. Cool. Gonna do a quick reset at the Ferox. Grab some teleports. No combat in this one, so we don't need to worry about any of that. We don't need our cash anymore, do it. Oh, we do need a bucket of water, a chisel, and a pickaxe. I'm not sure if there'll be a bank chest there until we've completed the quest, so probably do want to bring those with us. Alright, we'll start off with a teleport to the PvP arena. And run across to Purston. Definitely not a Majorat. Okay, Varrock. Should have probably brought stamina as well. Time to get Herbert a cuppa. We're not supposed to throw that on him. The water. Okay, puzzle time. Third time? Literally getting this in three tries. I'm just a genius. Alright, back to person. Oh, I didn't bring my passage. Oh. She can teleport me. Wonderful. Wagwan Manlight City. Okay, puzzle done. We're getting towards the end bit. There'll be a cut, there's a cutscene that lasts a few minutes, which is a bit annoying. Again, we've had a lot of cutscenes today. Then we just have to do a run of Guardians of the Rift. The reason we're doing this is because uh, 9k ring crafting XP even. I thought it was only 5k, that's even better. So this should get us above 30, which we need for the Slug Menace. Which, as I was saying, unlocks the, the Proselyte upgrade. Also gets us some more room crafting XP towards 35 requirement that we need for what lies below, which is on the path towards Defender of Varrock. I won't be surprised if we only get this quest done today though, because all of these cutscenes are so fucking long. No bank chest yet. Because I didn't bring stams. What spell was that? Alright, time to run this tutorial.
Oh, we got a runecraft on level 25. Oh, my run energy, bro. He didn't give me my run energy back when I visited him. That's some bad manners. This is painful. This on this isn't much longer because I don't have run energy. What are you doing wandering across middle? I think we are almost there. Another runecraft in a level up. And we're done. There we go, 5,000. Wait, it was just 5,000 runecraft in XP. Why did it say 9,000 on the thing? That was so weird. It did say 9,000. Okay, well we should be... We're 32 now, so we just need three more levels for... The quest in our Defender of Varrock quest line, and we're gonna go start Slug Menace, which is telling me to bring an awful lot of teleports with me. We've got Mine Tiara, Fire Tiara, a Water Tiara, we need Earth. Okay, I'm gonna go GE. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my Renarsi Doffer on a bit higher as well, because they haven't bought still. It's a ridiculous price, but they just keep rising. Hopefully those ones buy. Uh, we need air as well. Do we have an air towel? No. Okay, we got our in our seeds. Yep, full price there. I'm gonna stock up on compost as well. Get another hundred. And actually, I think I might just hop over to miscellanea and claim our mahogany so that we're topped up on it. Let's get an axe and let's let's go over there. Chopped three logs and my percentage hasn't gone up. What's going on? Four logs, it hasn't changed. Five logs, no change. Six logs got us a change. Is it six logs just to get one approval point? So that seems extra. Okay, that was much quicker. Oh, what the fuck was going on that first time? Okay. Right, we'll check the allocation. We want mahogany at full, herbs at full. Yeah, let's collect. What we got? 218 mahogany, so we can sell over half of them. And a bunch of herbs. Cool. We'll nip back to the G and throw those herbs up. Can't be asked to clean them, so they're going up as they are. And Mahog, we probably want like, I don't know, 180. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna empty my invent so I can start again, because it was messy. What have we got on? Looks good to me. Okay, let's go to Fally. We won't get too far into this one. Though we have completed three quests today. Okay, up to Witchhaven. Still not bringing staminas anywhere, because apparently I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, time to talk to a bunch of people. Realise they're all slugs in disguise, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, there's definitely some sluggish behaviour going on here. Look at that guy, fucking hell. He couldn't be any more slug. Is this guy an orc? I forgot about that. I don't know why Savant just interrupted. I guess just to be annoying as she ever is. Why did I not bring stamina potions? Is it worth getting them? We have to come back though. I feel like it's just quicker to go. Can we shortcut? Let's go! Wait, we don't need combat gear here, do we? Okay, resetting it here, getting stam. I don't know how much of this we're gonna get to do. I'm just gonna keep doing it till there's about three minutes and then go hit a birdhouse run. West Hardy. Mm. Joral, not actually in West Hardy. Oh, we've got the passage on us, what am I doing? Run into the bank to get my necklace of passage that's in my inventory. Oh, cutscene. Oh dear, he got slugged. Don't need this sea slug, do I? Wait, no you do. Oh, has he been got? Ah, I don't have the invent space. No, I need those for this section. Uh, I'm just gonna have to drop an energy. Do I need to uh, drop this swamp paste now? To make invent space. What the fuck? Oh, ship, air, earth. Where did the first one go? Can't see the first one anywhere. Ship, mind, fire, water. They're just disappearing. Oh, you can fail. Okay, so let's just go to a bank. We'll just do it at a bank. Okay, so we're, all we've got is an air rune. Earth, we got. Fire, we got water, we got mind, we got take each empty rune and use it on its respective runecraft and all. Right, we're gonna have to do that tomorrow because it's getting too close to the end of the day. So let's go hit ourselves 
on the bird's nest. Uh, and we will have very much of this quest to do tomorrow. But I guess we'll do it before continuing our Slayer journey. And because I've got like a minute here, I think I'm going to go reset my Slayer task. Oh, you see, that's 20k. I will try our Cheldar again, but she gives me another bad task that I don't want. Then I'll head over back to Vanaka. Yeah, it's been a pretty solid day. I'm going to start doing the outer roundup stuff now because it is 4.15. We've got 30k XP, 7k Hunter as standard, about the same in farming, boosted today from its usual rates because of the Garden of Tranquility we handed in. We've got 5k Slayer, including a level there, and 9,000 runecrafting XP. Maybe the 9,000 in the quest thing is because it includes the stuff from actually doing Guardians. All right, okay, rewards, cancel. What have you got for me? Basilisks. I don't think that's that bad, but I do need equipment and I don't have 5K on me. But the task itself is not that bad, Basilisks. 124 Basilisks feels doable. I'll probably have to do some, some searching to make sure. But I feel like that's better than the Blue Dragons one because there's not really any loot we want to take away with us, so it doesn't matter. We're just in there for a while. We can just sit in the cave. They might have, like, herb drops, but it'll be more similar to, like, the troll task than it would be to blue drugs. I quite like that, actually. I think that's pretty good. But other than that, XP gained. We pretty much got through all the XP. We did three quests, like I say, and we got most of the way for a fourth, which is nice to be sure. Not much combat progress today, if any. Just tiny bits here and there, but nothing really to show on that front. We are almost 49 woodcutting now, so we can nearly do Olaf's quest. And we are cracking away on the requirements for Defender of Varrock. A lot more of these are green now, with Garden of Tranquility done than they were before. We've already got the Hunter level, we need some smithing levels, Ice Mountain, and What Lies Below. And the What Lies Below is the part that we are working on our rune crafting for because we need 35 just to start the quest but yeah things are going pretty well we are making solid progress towards unlocking defender of varrock and simultaneously solid progress until unlocking perilous moons both of which will offer us some fantastic training methods and our cash stack is continuing to rise as well. I'll take a quick look at it, but then I'm off because it's... Yeah, we've got almost a mil now. Very nice indeed. With 12 Renar Seeds bought ready for the next two days. Right, that's going to be all from me on this one. I have two minutes to roll a spliff and get my ass outside. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment and a subscription and all of the good stuff that I love you for. I'll be back tomorrow with the next one. And until then, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.